just from the rooftop of my building. I almost jumped, but I managed to pull myself together, and I didn't. I would rather kill myself than go through all of this alone. Suicide sounds less painful. I know the cause of my death will be suicide. God damn it. We should always remind ourselves how, f how special and unique we are. That suicide should never, ever, ever, ever be an option, you know? Always know there is a way out. I think when I'm in a dark hole myself, I always have to remind myself this is real, what I'm feeling. But suicide is never the answer. It may feel like it because you, you know, in your mind you're going to get peace. But for me, I think what always keeps my head above water are those that I love most, like my mother. I don't know like, what me committing suicide would do to her. Personally, recently, I lost a colleague who committed suicide. And so the thing is, it's like everything about him was normal, 100%. Normal guy, looks normal, dresses normal, talks normal, laughs normal, everything is normal. But when we went for his funeral, you know, the one thing that was pretty clear is like, is that when you're going through something, depression, anxiety, you fight demons that nobody else can understand, nobody gets it. When, when you feed your suicidal and like it's too much, like you're gonna jump, see someone, you know, see someone. Like that's serious, man. Talk to people, talk to a therapist, talk to your friends, talk to your family. But don't do it. I don't think, I don't think anybody, not just, I don't think you, sh I don't think you should commit suicide. I don't think you should. You're not crazy, just know you're not crazy. This is a lot. Um, to carry in a lot that you've experienced and you must heal from the trauma. And there's no straight and narrow path, but you will come out of it. You will.